Morning everybody, how are y'all doing today? I'm doing great myself because I'm finally back home. I finally got my computer working again. Thank you American Airlines for that, by the way. And yeah, we are now back and ready to record more videos. Now this video is gonna be a bit shorter. I'm sure you already saw that by the length. But it's just because this is basically going to be a wrap-up video covering any last, you know, scrapes of salt that I found from the Game Awards. And then after this, we'll get back into more full-length content. So apologies for this video being shorter. But hopefully you guys will still enjoy it nonetheless. Now today, we're going to be taking a look at Harmon Smith's reaction. You know, he's one of the biggest Elden Ring haters on the entire Earth to Elden Ring winning game of the year. And then we're gonna take a look at Quantum TV's YouTube short that he uploaded. Because who would have thought Quantum isn't too happy that the game that caused all his controversy won game of the year. And before we get into this, I just wanna say really quick, if my voice does sound any different or if the mic sounds any different, it's because at my house, I don't have an air conditioning unit constantly blowing in my face. In my college dorm, I sit right next to the AC unit, so there's constantly air pushing against the mic. But over here, there's basically no AC where I'm sitting. So just wanted to clarify that. And without further ado, let's get into this. All right. Game of the year winner is Elden Ring. Yep, saw that coming. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I don't think we're getting anything more. So I think we can just end the stream now. Um, I guess we can just check 4chan real quick. This guy is so mad that Elden Ring won that the second it gets announced, he's like, yep, saw that coming. All right, we're going to end the stream. Oh my god. And then he says he's going to go check 4chan, which if you don't know what 4chan is, then good. Save yourself. Don't learn what it is. Oh, this is why we watch Harmon, everybody. Pure and utter denial on every single level. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got some Nintendo victories, but... Unfortunately, Elden Ring was, um, you know, one of the most heavily shilled games I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, next year, I think we'll be fine. Uh, let's see. You know it's eating this man up inside that Nintendo didn't get a single victory from the show. Which, again, I've asked it so many times already, but I have to ask again. Why is it such a big deal that Nintendo didn't win any awards? Does it make the game objectively worse if it does not win an award at the Game Awards? No, if you like Xenoblade 3, then you enjoy it. I've said it a lot of times, but I'll say it again. This competition, it's just fun. And it's mainly used as a way to promote trailers for video games and to give the developers a bit of an ego boost if they win. Outside of that, this should have no effect on you whatsoever, which is why I don't understand when people get legitimately upset over this. Yeah, I think I'm ready to end the stream. I'm really tired. Um, uh, yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, Elden Ring isn't that good. I'm still not going to buy it. I'm never going to buy it, I think, at this point. Don't worry, bud. I'm pretty sure anybody who has seen your channel over the last year or so knows that you were never going to buy Elden Ring. No matter what kind of awards it got and no matter how much people tried to prove you wrong on certain things. Don't worry. Nobody ever thought for a second that you were actually going to get the game. But I can tell, like, look, this man doesn't like anything that isn't Nintendo. But you can tell he wanted God of War to win so badly. Because I guarantee he knew that Xenoblade wasn't going to win. And he holds a grudge against Elden Ring like no other game I've ever seen before. Ah, uh, feels bad, man. Um, yeah, no interest in any of the non-Nintendo stuff shown. Uh, you know, Final Fantasy 16 looks like it might be good, but honestly, if it is good, I'll just wait a decade and wait for it to be ported to Nintendo console. I really don't care. Like, there are so many, like, better Nintendo RPGs anyway that, like, I'll be spending all my time playing those. Like, I'll wait for a port. I don't care how long it takes. I'll, I'll just... I mean, I totally agree with waiting for ports of games. I mean, hell, that's what I do with Sony games. I'm not getting a PlayStation. I could if I wanted to, but nah, I'd just rather wait for the games to come to PC. But trust me, dude, I don't think those games are ever coming to the Switch. Not even because of exclusivity or anything like that, but simply because the Switch just can't run them. 
And I love how he just admits it right there. He doesn't care about anything that's non-Nintendo. Then why did you even watch the Game Awards, my guy? Nintendo had one game up for nomination, and everybody knew it was going to get shut down in, like, every single category. I just hope you're not surprised that Xenoblade didn't win any awards. I'm sure it's a great game, but it was against some extremely tough competition this year. But anyway, that's all I wanted to cover regarding Harmon's reaction, so now we're going to move over to good old Quantum, who, let's just say, isn't too happy about Elden Ring winning. And he's trying so hard to hide the salt, but you guys can tell. He is mad upset. Especially since this short was uploaded within like an hour of Elden Ring being announced the winner. Hey yo, so the Game Awards just ended and Elden Ring took Game of the Year. And uh, I'm gonna say this right now. I don't know how a game that didn't have any memorable characters that anybody could bond with, any you know, emotional story or anything like that beats out games that had that. I'm just curious, Quantum, did you like not play the game at all? Well, wait, I guess I know the answer to that question. Because if you got more than 15 minutes into the game, you would know there are characters you can bond with. There is, in fact, a very engaging story. And just because a game doesn't directly present the story right in front of you doesn't mean it doesn't have a story. And just because a game has a story doesn't mean it's automatically gonna win Game of the Year. Did you not notice that God of War won best narrative. But you know what? As great as the characters were in God of War Ragnarok, there is only one character who can truly steal my heart in both games. Of course, I am talking about Sir Gideon Offnir, the all-knowing. Just hearing that name makes me feel a certain sort of way, but anyway. And it was like, the only thing this game had was difficulty, and if you add an easy mode, half the player base would disappear, but okay, whatever, yeah, that's game of the year. Let's see what happens in 2023. How many of these Souls players will still be playing that game? Probably fucking zero, but okay, let's play the game. And uh, you know what? Take your victory laps, have your fun, whatever, Elden Ring game of the year, but we all know what happened, man. It ain't really a game of the year. We all know what happened? What are you insinuating, Quantum? Are you saying that the Game Awards were rigged? Just like what all the PlayStation fanboys were saying after God of War lost? And no, Quantum, the only thing this game had going for it was not difficulty. But that's all you can focus on because you're that salty over the fact that you actually have to get good at a video game. Also, yes, people will still be playing this game into 2023. I mean, hell, I'm on my fourth New Game Plus run right now. I'm trying to get all the endings. In fact, that's the footage you've been seeing throughout this video. It's just me dominating bosses in New Game Plus 4. And could you guys taste that salt when he was like, oh yeah, sure, that's game of the year. This dude is mad upset. You really love to see it. Like, nobody's gonna be playing that game. Bro, the game has already lost traction. It's already losing players. I guarantee you, the further we get down the years, it's just not gonna be what people are expecting. It's not going to continue that same energy, bro. But hey, enjoy your game. Have fun with it. But uh, I ain't with it. Wait a minute, Quantum. You mean to tell me that as the years go on, a single player game isn't going to be played as much? What a shocking revolution. But no, I guarantee this game will be remembered for decades to come. People will still be playing it decades from now, just like with Skyrim. And also by this logic, no game should win game of the year because every game is going to have its player base fizzle out at some point. So I guess, yeah, no game can be game of the year by this logic. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to cover today. Again, apologies this is a bit of a shorter video. I've been spending some time with family, seeing some friends that I haven't seen since like summer break, and also, of course, finals. But hopefully we're going to be getting back into more of a regular upload schedule, assuming I can find content to make videos on, especially since now the Game Awards salt is kind of coming to an end. But hey, it was fun while it lasted. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will catch you all next time.